YouTube, what's going on? Fight fans, what's going on? Welcome back to Boxing with Chris. It is me, your host. Who else? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because I'm back. And you know when I'm back, I'm back to talk boxing. And I got a boxing question from uh, the community, the beautiful fans, all of you guys. Now that this matchup is confirmed for May 4th in Las Vegas, Canelo Alvarez versus Jaime Munguilla. And a lot of things have been crossing my mind. Can Jaime Munguia beat Canelo? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask that question again. Can Jaime Munguia beat Canelo? What do I think? I think he can. And I'm going to give you a quick breakdown because, you know, most of that I got to say for the tail of the tape. But one thing about Canelo, he's been on a slow decline. He's not the same fighter he was in 2021 after the K. He hasn't had a knockout since the Caleb plant. That's for one. Two, he does have arguably, if not, if arguably the coaching advantage now, he's been looking great since teaming up with Freddie Roach. His defense looks a little tighter. He's not blocking punches with his face anymore. And he's more sharper with his fundamentals, the jabs. He's attacking the body more too. He's going to come to fight. So Canelo will have to come to fight as well. Three, I don't think he's going to show Canelo any respect. And four, he's going to be a hard puncher that Canelo's face doesn't have dynamite in his hands, but the guy definitely can punch, has a higher knockout rate than Canelo. And I know some of his records, like you guys say, might be padded, but also he's young. Youth plays a big experience, but also Canelo's experience. And also Canelo's power. We know Canelo still has the power behind Munguia, if I'm not mistaken, is six years younger. So he can pull it off. It just also depends if the moment is too big for him. Also, what if Canelo turns back the hands of time and we see another vintage, you know, Canelo performance? Maybe he stops Munguia or he just looks great in every aspect. But I think a stoppage for him is kind of what will, you know, propel him to that superstardom again because he couldn't stop a smaller Charlo. So it's hard to believe that he can stop Jaime. Not saying that Jaime's better than Charlo, Charlo's or Charlo's better than Jaime, but just you know, they say if you couldn't stop a guy coming up to weight class, how can you stop a guy that's that's his natural weight class? So that's neither here or there. For the coaching, I feel like Eddie Reynoso is a great coach. So is Hall of Fame of Freddie Roach. I also believe Eddie Reynoso will be in the Hall of Fame. Freddie Roach has faced Canelo before when he coached Miguel Cotto, but now he has a prime 27-year-old in his corner. We know Jaime's also bigger than Canelo. So Jaime has a lot of the attributes. He has the size. He has the reach. He has the youth. He even has the corner. Only thing he lacks, I can say, is the experience. And can he take Canelo's power? Because it's all the game plan is always easy until Canelo hits you. And then now the game plan jumps out the window. I'm not... Still a fan of Canelo. Obviously, I'm disappointed in his choices since becoming undisputed. I call it how it is. But like I said, Jaime Munguia right now, to me, Jaime Munguia does have a 40% chance and it might improve. Let's see how he's looking. Let's see weigh-ins. Let's see the press conference. Let's see if Jaime shows Canelo respect. Let's see just how the aura and how the promo, the promotion of this fight is built for May 4th, Cinco de Mayo weekend in Las Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena. So ladies and gentlemen, fans of the channel, please let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Does Jaime Munguia have his Kodak moment? Does he have his Hall of Fame moment by defeating Hall of Fame for division world champ Canelo Alvarez or the Canelo Alvarez turn back the hands of time? Or do we get a boring Canelo Alvarez performance? A lot of things can happen on May 4th. And that's why you need to subscribe, follow, because you know what I do? I keep it A more than 92, and I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.